How many people in Twitch chat does it take to power a light bulb? To answer this question, I built this stream overlay where chat can power this light bulb by spamming messages. Their goal is to light a 100 watt bulb for at least one second. If you remember from physics, one watt is equal to one joule per second, which means 100 watts is equal to 100 joules per second. According to this XKCD article, typing one letter on your keyboard is equal to expending 0.0015 joules of energy, while larger keys such as the spacebar or enter take 0.0025 joules of energy. This means chat would need to spam about 10,000 characters per second to power the light bulb. It's a tall order, but if we could just power this bulb for one second, we could prove a Twitch chat powered electricity grid was possible. The first day was pretty straightforward. I set up a stream overlay that showed each message coming through and how much energy each message was sending to the light bulb. I also set up TTS for chat so they could strategize in between attempts. Do we get medical insurance if we break our hand while typing? No. All right, guys, try typing now to power the stream. This is working in a really small but somewhat effective way. It was clear our energy output was low. I wanted to see how some of the largest channels on Twitch would perform, and the results shocked me. I'm, I would just be surprised if we were faster than a channel that had 22k viewers. We benchmarked at about 1.75 watts. I, I think our chat, which is almost like a thousand times or like a hundred times smaller than this channel is more power efficient. That's when I realized it wasn't just the speed of the message that mattered, but the length of the messages. Oh, larger messages are the way to go. My chat then developed the most optimal message to spam. It had the max amount of spaces allowed for a chat message, optimizing the energy output. It's 0.99 watts, which is basically just one watt. Despite our innovations in maximizing the message length, the real obstacle in front of us was chat spam filters, which were preventing viewers from spamming to their fullest potentials. So let's just try that again. What's going on? We were at like one watt yesterday. We're at a quarter of that. Wait a second, is my chat getting artificially slowed down? But there was one type of viewer who could bypass spam filters for maximum speeds, VIPs. Twitch chat VIPs are a special role that highlight a special viewer in chat, usually reserved for your like close friends or regular viewers or someone you just really want to highlight as being special. From what I've heard, you can't spam as fast as mods or VIPs. So I think the strategy is we may have to VIP as many people as possible. Every channel gets a limited amount of VIP slots. And for me, I had about 100 total VIP slots with 30 already taken up. So I created a channel point redeem that let anyone become a VIP to fill the remaining slots. Wait, if you become VIP, start talking. So I know if you're actually VIP. Oh my God, that's a lot of VIPs. That's a whole bunch of VIPs coming in. I now had an arsenal of chatters who could unleash much more spam in the chat. All right, get ready. Power up the light bulb. Begin powering the light bulb. Three watts. Four watts! Wait, what, are we capping out at three watts? They can't be! But we gotta stop. We have to figure out what's going on. Yeah, we have to turn off the text in the background. We really have to turn off anything, any dependency that's gonna slow this down. We have to turn it off in the background. It was just a bug in the code holding, holding you guys back. Begin to spam in three, two, one. 23 watts! It's working! 30 watts! It's working! Oh, the light, it's lighting up! It's lighting up! 28 watts! We managed to get the 30! We managed to get the 30 watts! Despite not hitting 100 watts, my VIP idea was working. My chat was moving 10 times faster than the previous day. There was still one core problem. We just didn't have that many chatters, so we needed backup. For the next stream, I reached out to my friend Ray. I believe they had the chat firepower to bring us over the 100 watt threshold. Right. Yeah, we got some people in here already prepping some copy pastas. Yeah, perfect, perfect. We need all the chefs in the kitchen. One thing I have prepared for you guys is I even giving you your own TTS guy. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Which one is me? LMAO. The plan was to hook up my light bulb script to his chat. So the spam from both chat rooms could power the light bulb. Commence the spamming. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna power this light bulb. Let's go. Is there, is there a wattage we're trying to get to? 100, 100 watts is a standard light bulb. Okay, chat, this is your time to spam everything. 
I got a new idea. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to motivate my chat a little bit, uh, but I'm going to oh. mute because I might say some okay. words that may be hurtful. We were doing so great yesterday. You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. Can you type any faster? Is, is, is this all you got? Is this all you have? I don't know anymore. L let's give it another go. You're down. Yo. Yeah, we'll give, we'll give it another college try. Why not? Prepare your keyboards. Flex your fingers. All right, I'm just activating it. If, if we're seeing yeah, a ton of messages come rip. through. Let it rip. Come on. Grab your phone. Grab another computer. Just, uh, so many accounts. <laughs> as many as you can. 15. No, what happened to 27 or 27? What? I know. What? Is, something's off. I feel like something's off. I'm at a loss. I really am at a loss. Despite the reinforcements, we actually did not reach even our personal best of 30 watts from the previous day. But we did manage to power the equivalent of an LED bulb. I thought throwing more chatters at the problem would work, but it was back to the drawing board. While taking a break in between streams, I did something I should have done from the beginning. Math. More specifically, checking the math to see if this was all even possible. The max character limit on Twitch is 500 characters per message, and our optimal chat message has an equal amount of letters and spaces to maximize the amount of spaces in the message. This is because spaces count for more. If we look at the total energy output of our optimal chat message, it all adds up to about one joule. That means we only needed 100 messages per second to power a 100 watt bulb. The chat was moving at insane speeds, but we were still being held back for some reason. One issue I found was within the code itself. I was calculating the energy of each message in a really inefficient way by scanning the entire message and checking if each character was a letter or a space. There was a much quicker way to do this per message. So I changed the code to just take the total length of the message and subtract it by the length of the message without any spaces and use the difference to calculate the total energy level. And that helped my SAMI script run a lot faster. But the other core issue was chat cooldown. VIPs can send about 100 messages per 30 seconds before spam filters kick in, and normal chatters can only send about 20 messages within the same time period. So the longer that we kept our spamming going, more chatters were being hit by cooldown and couldn't spam as much. That meant once we started spamming, we only had a few seconds to reach our goal before spam filters kicked in. And with all those learnings, I introduced the countdown mechanic so we can ensure everyone started spamming at the same time. If you are ready to spam, if you're a chatter who's ready and engaged, and engaged, use the reward. So I know how many chatters we have ready. Yes, yes, chatters at the ready. Chatters at the ready. After re-upping everyone with VIP status, I felt that I truly removed all the obstacles from achieving our goal. Folks, prime your messages the longest message ever. It's all gotta go at the same time. Fuck the light bulb! We are getting this light bulb! It's beautiful! It's working! Oh my god! 30! 50! 30. Oh my god! There we go! 50! Oh, we're like at the limit of 50! It can't be 50! It's gotta be 100! But it was just not meant to be. Despite these improvements that got us to a max of 40 to 50 watts, we were still hitting some sort of upper limit. And to be honest, I was getting super frustrated. The code was working better. The chat was going faster than ever. Everyone really wanted this, but we still couldn't hit 100 watts. And after the stream ended, I began to doubt if we could do this at all. Were we reaching a universal speed limit of spam? Like some sort of speed of light limit for Twitch chat? If you look at big channels on Twitch, you'll notice a slight pause, less than a second, for when the chat starts going really fast. I was also seeing this in my code, where the script would add up a bunch of messages at once, then pause ever so slightly before moving on. We were hitting some type of speed limit on Twitch chat, and it was preventing us from lighting this bulb. That means we couldn't get this bulb to 100 watts no matter how hard we tried, no matter how many people were spamming. We would just keep hitting the speed limit. So if we were to ask, can Twitch chat power a light bulb? The answer is seemingly no. It's impossible. And that would be my cue to wrap up this video. But I had one more idea, one more narrow path to make it work. My one channel was reaching the chat speed limit and outputting about 50 watts, which is half the energy required to power the bulb. And this already required me to grant VIP to as many chatters as possible. But what if I had a second channel where I could grant everyone VIP? The chat speed limit only applies to each individual chat. So two chats, in theory, could produce enough energy to power this bulb. The key is having full control of both chats to grant VIP. Because of channel permissions, this wasn't possible in the collab with Ray. Luckily, 
I did have such a channel. I have a secondary partner DJ account for music streams on Twitch, which had an additional 60 VIP slots. The level of back we were was off the charts. And so I gave it one more stream. After setting up VIPs in both chats, we were ready to daisy chain power into the light bulb. This might just work. The dual timeline strategy might just work. Get ready, I'm commencing the countdown in both channels. All right, everyone prime your 500 character message. Don't start, just prime it. Three, two, one. All right, juice it, juice it. It's happening! It's happening! Oh my god! There's so much power going to the bulb! Unlimited power! Our chats have unlimited power! Uh, did the light just break? I can't see anything. Wow, well, it worked. We really did it.